So this TikToker, her name's Madison, and she's in the prime of her life. She's killing it in school, she's got her dream internship, she's getting a full scholarship to St. Ambrose University. Things are going great. Until one day, her phone rings, and it's her doctor. We found a mass on my pancreas, and I had stage two pancreatic cancer at just 19 years old. Oh, but that's not even the worst part. She also had leukemia. The five-year outlook of survival is a slim 11%. But does all this stop Madison? No way. She sees it as an opportunity to document her battle and uplift others. If I could give one piece of advice to people. And Madison posts all this to social media, constantly updating everyone. And her story blows up, because you know, it's compelling. And that's when the opportunities start rolling in. She's getting speaking engagements with different organizations. She's doing media interviews. She starts a GoFundMe to help with her medical expenses. And it raises over $37,000. All things considered, things seem to be going pretty well for her again. Until one day she posts an update with this picture. And what's so special about this picture? Well, people started looking at this picture, people with medical experience, and they noticed something wasn't right. It doesn't seem sterile, the port's not located in the right place, and it's not even attached with real medical tape. Let me show you. Here's a real one, and here's hers. They're very different. So then, at least one of those medical professionals anonymously calls the police. And police start looking into this, and they're like, yeah, something's off here. So they get a warrant, and they search her home. And they find all kinds of stuff. An IV pole with a feeding pump full of cotton swabs, transparent medical dressing, nausea pills prescribed to a relative of hers, and around the same time, they subpoena her medical records. And guess what they found? NOTHING! No cancer, no history of cancer, no tumors, or anything like that. She made it all up. In fact, some of the pictures she used were stolen from the social media of actual cancer patients. So then, police go and arrest her, they charge her with theft by means of deception, and here's her beautiful mugshot. She takes a plea deal, gets probation, community service, and has to pay the 400 people back who donated to the GoFundMe. I fully acknowledge that what I did was wrong, and I am incredibly sorry. So why did she do all this? fake a serious cancer diagnosis? I didn't do this for money or greed. I didn't do this for attention. I did this in an attempt to try and get my family back together. And also all of this happened in Bettendorf, Iowa. So shout out to Iowa. 